Hello, with context to SAP HANA administration, we will talk about SAP HANA Studio Overview. This is Hassan Mir from 02ProTraining.com. SAP HANA Studio is a client software, meaning it is installed on a Windows based desktop or a personal computer. It makes a connection to HANA database, SAP HANA 1 database, and it relies on SAP HANA client software to make a connection. So SAP HANA Studio is a client software as well and SAP HANA Client is a client software as well. The purpose of SAP HANA Client is to make a connection with SAP HANA database and to serve that connection to other tools like SAP HANA Studio. You can follow my installation videos to install SAP HANA Studio and SAP HANA Client on your computer so that you can make a connection to SAP HANA 1 database. And in order to get access to SAP HANA 1 database you can follow my videos where I have shown how you can get access on Amazon Web Services very easily and at a very affordable price. Something that you should know about SAP HANA Studio, it was developed using Eclipse platform and it is written in Java language. Now let's come to the purpose of SAP HANA Studio. What is the usage of this software? It is used for two purposes and two different purposes. One is for development, it is a central development environment and also it is the main administration tool to manage SAP HANA database. So it is used for development purposes as well as for administration purposes. Here are some examples of administration related tasks that you would be performing through SAP HANA Studio. You will start the database services, you will stop the database services, you will monitor the system through SAP HANA Studio, also you will do configuration and you will manage users and authorizations. Here are some examples of development tasks that you will be performing through SAP HANA Studio. You will be creating tables, you will be inserting data into those tables, modifying data, etc. You might be dropping tables as well. You will be managing modeled views. You will be creating views and modifying them and you will be managing stored procedures. These are just examples. You will be doing many more things as well. Now about the artifacts that you'll be creating using the development environment, those will be stored in the repository which exists right in SAP HANA database and it's a part of SAP HANA database. This repository acts as a source control for the development process and we will talk more about the development process and the repository in the coming videos. SAP HANA Studio could be used for various purposes it presents its tools in form of perspectives. You can consider perspectives as different views of the screens. You can move from one perspective to the other and the screen layout and the windows will change accordingly. For example, the administration activities are performed through administration console perspective. This perspective gives you the features like database administration and database monitoring, etc. Other perspectives include modeler perspective, development perspective and debug perspective. And all of these are related to the development. Right now our focus is the administration, so we're going to be focusing on administration console perspective. In the next video we will be doing a demonstration of the perspective so that we can get a better picture. Understand that SAP HANA Studio when talks to SAP HANA 1 database, the only language it uses to do the communication with the database is structured query language. You may interact with SAP HANA Studio using different methods. You may enter SQL directly. You may use the uh, other features on the screen to perform the interactions. You may not be entering SQL all the time into SAP HANA Studio, but whenever SAP HANA Studio talks to the database it always talks in one language the language that the database understands and that is a structured query language so all your interactions are translated into SQL if it is related to anything to do with the database